Look at that photograph. Every time I see it, it makes me laugh. <laughs> people today is the day that I react to your unpopular opinions and let me tell you something some of you should not be allowed to have opinions I know that sounds a little bit dictatory of me but you know I, I think it's for the greater good to be honest this all started a few weeks ago when I, I was actually at the gym with my two friends and I was on the treadmill my two friends were on the treadmills next to me and I don't know how we got to this part of the conversation but anyway I said a very harmless thing all I said was The Incredibles is the worst animation ever made because it is and um, they stopped dead on the treadmill I just noticed that they were like going backwards on the treadmill and I was like where are you guys going their reactions were so severe they reacted as if I told them I was going to move to North Korea or something when all I said was The Incredibles is the worst animation ever made that's all I said it was just so boring. It was like a family drama. I have my own family drama Why do I want to watch an animation about more family drama when I watch an animation? I want to be taken away to a whole new world. I don't want to be triggered <sighs> Anyway, so I was accused that day of having very strong opinions and that inspired me I was like, hmm, maybe I should do a video reacting to my subscribers unpopular opinions And so we are here today. Welcome Okay, so let's see some of your unpopular opinions, shall we? The first unpopular opinion goes to this person and because... Oh, wow. I've, um, I've cut your name out. Why am I like this though? Like, why am I the world's worst YouTuber? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry I cut your name off. Uh, I really hope that you can identify yourself with your profile picture. It looks like a little cat or something. My unpopular opinion is that German sounds beautiful. I totally agree. I think German sounds beautiful. One person was like, oh, German sounds so harsh and aggressive. And then you know what happened? The rest of the world just decided to jump on that bandwagon because everyone's a bunch of sheep. I think German sounds really nice. You know why? German is kind of similar to my second language, which is Afrikaans, which is very similar to Dutch. They all have one thing in common which I like and that is they're a little bit guttural which means that some of the sounds are a little bit throaty, a little bit phlegmy if you will. And I kind of like that, it just sounds so ex expressive. I'm very expressive myself. So I kind of relate to those languages, you know, I like it. And honestly, English, damn. I guess it's because it's my language and so I fail to see the beauty in it but it's really bland, hey? The only way I can make English expressive like German is when I have to manipulate my tone myself to make it sound interesting but by itself it's so boring whereas German it's already exciting with those guttural sounds you know what I'm saying I like German I think German sounds beautiful too there you go it's the same with bloody Nickelback and I know I'm gonna get hate for this but one person decided to hate Nickelback and then the whole world decided to jump on that bandwagon and hate Nickelback and I don't understand because I thought Nickelback was kind of nice and now, now I feel self-conscious for liking Nickelback at one stage in my life. In fact, I kind of still like Nickelback and I think they should come back. Everyone must just stop hating on German and everyone must just stop hating on Nickelback. Hashtag bring back Nickelback. <clears throat> Next, Nikhil Diolal says, unpopular opinion. You people are trolling me. I know you're saying this because I make my cereal milk first and cereal second. Let me tell you something. There are two types of people in the world, okay? There are normal people who make their cereal milk first and then there are psychopaths who make their cereal cereal first. Sorry? Wait a moment and try again. No one invited you to this party, sorry. Honestly, if you people, if all you Karens out there and all you Kubendris out there have a problem with the way I make my cereal, take it to the cereal manager. I know, okay? I know I'm a little bit weird because I make my cereal milk first, but let me tell you something. In my defense, I'm being serious now. Hear me out, okay? <laughs> In my defense, I was raised to make my cereal like that. So just blame my parents because I had no idea that there was any other way to make my cereal. I was taught that that was how to make my how to make cereal because I saw my parents doing it. And then you know what happened? I went to my friend's house and it was breakfast time. And then I saw her making her cereal and I was like, 
Why is she making her cereal upside down? So, uh, yeah, and let me tell you something. Even though I saw how my friend was making her cereal and apparently that was the right way to make cereal, I still didn't change the way I made my cereal. You know why? Because milk first and cereal second, that is my way of making my cereal. And also, why is this such a problem? Whether you put cereal first or milk first, why is it such a problem? It's the same damn thing. Whether it's cereal first or milk first, it goes into your body and then you poop it out later. Why does it make a difference? And let me tell you something else. If it traumatizes you that I make my cereal milk first and cereal second, I also want you to know that I also heat up my cereal. That's right, I eat my cereal hot. Enjoy your sleep tonight. Next, Charlotte says, unpopular opinion. People who eat runny egg yolk are low-key psychopaths. <laughs> Charlotte, you are wrong. People who eat runny egg yolk are not low-key psychopaths. People who eat runny egg yolk are high-key psychopaths. They are psychopaths. End of story. Also, are we Soulmates, Charlotte, are we soulmates? Because I thought I was the only one in the world who thought this was gross. Let me tell you something, there are two types of people in the world. <laughs> there are normal people, and then there are psychopaths who eat eggy, eggy, runny egg yolk. My gosh, okay, so can I tell you a secret about myself? <laughs> Don't judge me, okay? I, I just, I know, I know, I'm, I'm the biggest psychopath that's gonna come out of this video. I don't eat egg yolk, <laughs> so stop judging me, okay? It's like the same as seafood for me. I can't even put it in my mouth. I just hate the texture, I hate the taste of egg yolk, I can't stand it. The problem is I really love eggs, but I really love egg whites. I know, I know, I'm really racist when it comes to my eggs. I know, and I know what you're thinking. But Sam, how can you only eat the egg whites? They're so tasteless. Your face is tasteless. The only time I will eat an egg yolk is if the egg is scrambled or if the egg is an omelet, when everything is mixed up and my brain doesn't know what's the difference between egg white and egg yolk. That's the only time I will eat egg yolk. But let me tell you something. As Especially runny egg yolk. I can't. I can't. I can't. I'll never forget this one time I went to my friend's house and we had a sleepover and they made breakfast and then they called us down for breakfast and I noticed that everyone had an egg in an egg cup and I was like oh, okay cool we have boiled eggs and then I noticed her mother broke the top of the egg and I was like oh okay and then I started panicking because I was like what is the sorcery what what is she gonna do is this some kind of witchcraft why is she breaking the top of the egg like that and as if that wasn't traumatic enough for me the mother took the slice of bread, oh, it was like a slice of toast or something. And do you know what she did with that slice of toast? She took the bread and she dipped it. She dipped it into the egg that she broke. She dipped it like it was a sauce. And then she pulled the bread out and it was yellow. The bread was yellow. She dipped it into that runny egg yolk like it was tomato sauce or something. And then she ate it. And I was like, oh, next. Oh, this person sent me an essay. Leah Leia 12 underscore 66. Hey, this is my unpopular opinion. As an Indian girl, ooh, I'm invested in the story. As an Indian girl, being single is totally okay. I always feel pressured into going into a relationship for the sake of it and for the sake of meeting society's standards. This needs to be normalized as I am so happy being single and alone. Indians, especially in South Africa, not sure about other cultures, put so much pressure into getting married and rushed into all of this, with most of them resulting in unhappy people who commonly get a divorce and some living with regret in their lives. Not every woman wants a man to make her happy and constantly provide for her. Some of us want to do it for ourselves. We are really content with living our lives being single and happy. Stop forcing us to get married so Indian aunt <laughs> Oh, she really just dragged Indian aunties into this. Stop forcing us to get married so Indian aunties can get to gossip about everything <laughs> in someone else's daughter's lives. This needs to stop in our community. Let us live our lives happily and the way we want to. It's 2020. Preach, girl. Preach. 
gotcha. So, Leah, you know who the real problem is in this whole situation? It's Indian aunties. And it's time that we stand up to these Indian aunties. Let me tell you something, Leah. I don't know how old you are, but I know how old I am. I'm 31 years very old. And here I am, 31, still unmarried, still no kids, still just you know, living my life in Asia. Even though it's 2020, we are still under this pressure to be settled at a certain age and to be married at a certain age, to have a bunch of kids at a certain age. And I say, screw it. Let me tell you something. I am an advocate for standing up to society. I've been here for almost 10 years. For almost 10 years, I've been living in Korea, single, happy, traveling, doing my own thing, living the life that I want to live. And let me tell you something, these almost 10 years have been the best almost 10 years of my life. And I know that when I get settled, when I get married, when I have kids, I'm never going to get this again. So I am so thankful that I've done this. I'm so thankful that I've rebelled against all those Indian aunties who expect a certain way of living from us. And you know what? You know who I also feel sorry for? It's not just Indian girls who are the victims in this situation. I also feel so sorry for some Indian guys. Because have you noticed with these Indian aunties who are always trying to hook you up with someone? Have you noticed how they always, the first thing they will say to you is, I got one nice guy for you. He's a doctor. Always. Doctor, lawyer, engineer. Always. What about those poor Indian guys who decided to go into the arts? Indian aunties will never, have you noticed? They will never ever start their sentence with, I found one guy for you. He's a graphic designer. I feel so sorry for them. They're always being discriminated against. Their husband material too. It's not fair on them. In conclusion, I have two pieces of advice. Whether you're an Indian girl or an Indian guy. If you're an Indian girl, it's 2020 like Leah says. So if you want to get married in your 20s, get married in your 20s. And if you don't want to get married in your 20s, if you want to get married in your 30s, that's fine too. Live your life the way you want to live it. Do not live your life the way society dictates you should. And if you're an Indian guy, you're still worthy husband material if you are not a doctor, if you are not a lawyer, and if you're not an engineer. Hi, shame man. <sighs> Thanks, Leah, for raising my blood pressure. Lene de Jong. Guys, if I have pronounced any of your names incorrectly, please just let me know in the comments because I hate it when people mispronounce my name. So don't feel bad. Just tell me. Unpopular opinion. There is <laughs> the age old debate. There's actually nothing wrong with pineapple on pizza. Wrong, Lene. There is actually everything wrong with pineapple on pizza. The internet says it's bad. No, it's not just the internet. Listen, there are two types of people in the world. There are normal people who think that pineapple on pizza should be banned. And then there are psychopaths like you people who put pineapple on pizza. I just don't understand. You know what I want to know? I want to know who was that false person ever? Because think about it, right? They were obviously eating a very normal, very delicious cheese pizza. And then suddenly out of nowhere, goodness knows why, they were like, you know what? What would happen if I put a slice of pineapple on this perfectly fine cheese pizza? Who is that person? It just doesn't make any sense, right? The textures, pizza is just like soft and mushy. And then you're putting this weird old cold, wet, somewhat crunchy pineapple. It just doesn't make sense. Why are you doing? They don't know, no. And then the flavor of the pineapple, it's tangy. And then you're putting it on this pizza, which is just like cheesy and just not supposed to be tangy. Why are you doing that? I have trust issues because of pineapple on pizza. And you know what? If you're a person who eats pineapple on pizza, I can't trust you anymore. You can't be trusted. You can't be trusted making adult decisions. You shouldn't be allowed to vote. You can't be trusted with children either. Next. No, but seriously, like out of all the pizza toppings in the world, really? Like a nice chicken and mushroom pizza or like, you know, a, a rib rack pizza. Even a plain cheese pizza. Out of all those toppings, you choose to have pineapple on you. Ah, oh, no man. Crystal Perumal says... Okay. I have potato chips and peanut butter on a sandwich. I mean, you don't like Harry Potter, so you clearly have bad taste, so. 
Crystal Peru Mall. Putting the mall in Peru Mall. Next, Mike Jetski says Emma Stone is overrated. Wow, wow, wow. You people are all psychopaths today. The reason we love Emma Stone is she's so lovely. She's like that girl next door. She's so down to, it's the same reason we love Jennifer Lawrence, right? They're both like that girl next door, you know, like you want to be best friends with them. And that's why we love them. And of course, they're amazing actresses. Only a cold, heartless person will say that Emma Stone is overrated. In fact, a person whose heart is made out of stone. Get it? Because Emma Stone, you know. Oh my god. This is my friend Leslie who is trolling my video. Unpopular opinion. Chocolate left in the fridge is delicious. Let me tell you something. Okay, cause we, we had an argument about this. There are people out there who are okay with putting chocolate in the fridge. This raises my blood pressure to the roof. Let me tell you something. There are two types of people in the world. Normal people who eat chocolate at room temperature and then psychopaths who put chocolate in the fridge. I have this fight with my father every time. My dad will buy chocolate. You leave him unattended for two seconds and he's already putting that chocolate in the fridge. Do you know what happens when you put chocolate in the fridge? It tastes like fridge. You cannot eat chocolate cold it, it's just it's you can't taste it anymore oh my god indians get their diabetes from the sugarcane field firstly i told you to send me your unpopular opinions not facts technically this is a fact diabetes is caused by sugar sugar comes from sugarcane and sugarcane comes from sugarcane fields that's a fact Given me a fact. And secondly, listen here, I live on a sugarcane farm. Don't you say mean things about sugarcane farms. I will come for you in the night and I will bring my sugarcane stick and I will beat you with that sugarcane stick. <sighs> Simply 92 says, <sighs> you know, you people have guts, hey? Some young noodles are all horrible. <laughs> listen here. I don't know if I ever mentioned this on my channel, but I live in South Korea. How dare you come here to my channel and bash my country's noodles? Are all horrible. That is a strong statement. They all taste the same. It's like eating plastic. There's no flavor. The noodles are just wrong. Let me tell you something. Your face is wrong. Listen, simply, I feel like you've misunderstood Samyang noodles. I just want you to know, I don't eat ramen, but even I think that Samyang noodles are wonderful. There's the bulldog ramen, right? The black one. Then there's the karo one, which is the pink one. Then there's the meatball one, which is the red one. And then there's the cheese one, which is the yellow one. Then there's the jajang one, which is the black bean one. And they all taste completely different. The cheese one is the best. It is so good. Second is the carbo one, which is like a creamy carbonara. Third is the meatball one because it tastes like spaghetti bolognese. They all taste so different. Do you know which noodles all taste the same? It's a brand called Maggie's Two Minute Noodles. Those ones all taste the same. Whether it's chicken, whether it's mushroom, whether it's cheese, whether it's curry, it doesn't matter. They all have the same flavor. You know what's that flavor? Mush flavor. They all taste like mush. This woman though. The last unpopular opinion. I know I'm gonna get flack for this, so let's keep it anonymous. <laughs> oh my god. Wimpy tomato. Oh my. You asked me to keep this anonymous and I thought you were gonna tell me some scandal. Meanwhile, it's about Wimpy's tomato sauce. But Wimpy tomato sauce is better than all gold. And Woolworth's tin roof ice cream is not better than the Nestle tin roof ice cream. Pussy, I have a confession to make. I told you, you guys are gonna think of a psychopath. I, I, I hate tomato sauce. I don't understand people who have like perfectly good chips and then they just go and like lava tomato sauce all over it. Like you've just destroyed all those chips. I have, however, tasted Wimpy's tomato sauce and I've tasted all gold tomato sauce. And I can safely say that you are 100% correct. Wimpy's tomato sauce is infinitely better than all gold tomato sauce. All tomato sauce is gross, but really all gold is gross. <laughs> I don't think I've tasted Woolworths tin roof ice cream. And neither have I tasted Nestle's tin roof ice cream. Uh, so I can't really comment on this, but I will say that a lot of Woolworths things 
are overrated. Here's another unpopular opinion from moi. <laughs> That's it, hey? Those are all my unpopular opinions done. Wow, you guys are psychopaths. And so am I. Well, this video is going to be very ironic because I am reacting to your unpopular opinions as if you guys are the psychopaths. But basically, the conclusion is that I'm the biggest psychopath. <laughs> I'm ready for your criticism, it's fine. Oh, but this was so much fun to make. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget if you liked the video, give it a like. If you didn't like the video, give it a like. Anyway, don't forget to follow me on all the social medias. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to join my channel. And I will see you next time with a new video. Goodbye.